In this segment, I am going to show you a light that you need for video conferencing and as a creator. Oy vey. Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. About a year ago, I did a video on how to light yourself better for video conferencing. Now in part of that video, I discussed how you can light yourself better with an LED light. Now I have a room where I can control the lighting, but when I am doing a Zoom interview or Skype recording, a live stream, what have you, I like to do it in an aesthetically pleasing room. So sometimes you get the light from the window no matter how many times you close the curtain and try to adjust it. And you don't want to look like you're in a dark room anyway. These webcams that come on the computer, they tend to adjust to the warmth and the coolness and it changes the color tone as you're doing the interview or whatever. That's very frustrating. Not only that, if you see the way I put my LED light on my Mac desktop, my stand doesn't come up high enough, so I kind of lean the light and I have to put it on a bandana because I don't want it to scratch my screen. As Casey Neistat says, that's very casual AF and you know, you could chance the actual light from falling that can scratch your screen anyway, so it defeats the whole purpose. I wanted something that would just stay on my screen, it would let me control the light and it would let me control the temperature. So I purchased the Loom Cube mini LED panel. Not only did I get the panel, but I got the whole broadcast lighting kit. And I'm gonna tell you why I got the kit. So I'm going to divide this video into two parts. One part is going to be why this light is great for video conferencing. And the other part is why I think the broadcasting light kit is good if you are a video creator, let's say for YouTube, if you're doing product shots, or if you need to do some kind of business presentation. This light is very powerful. A lot of creators use it on top of their cameras. There's also a cell phone attachment you can use that people use to vlog with. And what is so great about this, aside from being able to lighten and dim the actual light, it lets you control something called Kelvin. Kelvin is a measurement of temperature. So you can get those cool tones or you can get those warm tones. So the cool tones are good if you're getting some daylight or using some kind of lamp that gives off that coolness. The warm is good if you have more sunlight and maybe you're using a little lamp. You know, it's totally up to you what kind of light you want, but when you have one light source and another light source, you kind of want the temperatures to match or it just doesn't look good. It also comes with this soft panel on top. So if you're someone who's over 40 or 50 like me, and you just want to soften your look a little bit, this is great. It only takes about three hours to charge fully. And if you have the light at the brightest, it lasts an hour and a half. If you have it at its lowest, it lasts up to 14 hours. I don't think you're gonna have it at the highest level unless you're making a short film and aliens are coming down to invade Earth. Usually you'll probably have it at 50%, so you'll get a good couple of hours out of it. And if not, it also comes with an adapter that you can plug into the battery charger and put into your laptop or your desktop for continual charging. Now you're probably wondering how you're going to use this on your laptop or your desktop. So if you buy the light with the suction cup, you just easily put this on the suction cup. And before you put it on your laptop or your desktop, make sure that the surface is clean. And here's a little tip for you. You either put it to the left or the right of your webcam camera. Um, you should know your good side. Whatever side is your better side, that's the side you should favor. I know that my right side is better from doing a million videos, so I am going to put it on the right side of the webcam camera. And you just put the suction cup on while this little flap is up, and then you put the flap down, and 
it's locked into place. You can adjust the light however you want. And there you go, you're good to go. You can have your Zoom meeting and look decent. Now, before I tell you why I got the broadcast kit as a creator, I wanted to go over just one point of why I think the broadcast kit is good if you wear glasses. You don't wanna get that glare in your eye from the light, right? So if you get the kit, it comes with a stand and with that stand, you can either put it to the left or the right of your laptop or desktop and you won't get that glare. Again, put it on your good side. See, I would put it here. So that's great. When you wear glasses, you know that is a struggle. So now I am going to tell you why I got this kit as a creator. This stand. This stand is amazing because it's very compact. So if you are someone who is doing vlogging or you have a very small space, it's just lightweight, but it's very sturdy. It's not cheap quality. And it comes down like this. And then you just lock it into place and you're good to go. But it also extends very long. And this comes in so handy. Let's say like me today, I'm filming with a light source coming to my left. I have this light on the right, but let's say I didn't have this light. Let's say I'm in a very small, tiny space. So I can put this stand to the right. I'm gonna put it on camera for now, but of course you'd have it off camera with the light. But you would have that other light source that you could use as another key light, as a fill light, whatever you wish. You know, make it dimmer, make it lighter, adjust it to your window. Maybe it's a sunny day, maybe it's a cloudy day. You don't have to worry. You have everything in the power of that light at your fingertips. And if you're really, really stuck on space, you can attach the suction cup to the bottom and lay it flat with the suction cup so you don't have to worry about it getting knocked over. And as a creator who's had many mishaps, that's really a lifesaver. Now, aside from video conferencing, aside from using this as a fill light, one of the most important reasons of why I got this light and this suction cup is because I film a lot of cooking videos in this kitchen and that's why I'm filming this segment here. The problem is if it's later in the day and I'm losing a lot of light, I obviously am lighting my husband and I, we do it together and that's tricky within itself to light two people evenly. But what happens is the background gets very dark and even if I adjust my aperture on my camera, it's just gonna ruin how we're lit. So I have an underlight in the back of underneath my cabinets. I'll show it. Now, as you can see, those lights are extremely warm. It just doesn't balance right with the light that I'm using in front of me. And I want it to match. I want it to look just as good. I want it to be the same temperature as close as possible. I don't have a main light that adjusts to temperature. And even if I did, that is way too warm for me. Now it looks good to the human eye when you're in the kitchen and you're hanging out, but on camera, it just doesn't look good. So here was my solution with this light. I got some nice light now and that's at 75% and that's pretty powerful, I think. LumCube did not sponsor this video. I bought this broadcasting lighting kit with my own money. They didn't pay me to say anything. I genuinely just really like it. I think it's of fantastic quality. I will get a lot of uses out of this. I did contact them and they provided me with an affiliate link that I will put in the description box below. So if you purchase anything on their site, like you can just get this suction cup, you can just get the light, you can just get the stand, you can get so many different things. They have other things for people who use regular cameras. They even have the phone attachment, everything for everybody. But if you use that link, I make a very small commission and it's no extra cost to you. 
They also gave me a special coupon code for 10% off if you'd like to use it. I will put that there as well. Thank you for watching and let me know in the comments. Do you have any of the Loom Cube accessories? Are you thinking about getting them? And I will see you in one of my other videos. Don't forget to use my affiliate link and my coupon code for 10% off. Loom Cube, illuminate your life.